psychoactive substance that decays at a rate proportional to the amount present. <clears throat> and if 30% of the substance is decays after 15 years, uh, what's the half-life of the substance? So just general 30% <clears throat> decay will have 0 0.7 or 70% of a unit of one. I'll just, we don't need to put the one there, but I'll put it there just to represent that. And this is decaying at a constant rate. <clears throat> and this is after 15 years, that's our T, our time. And um, we don't. what we're trying to figure out here initially is our K constant. And once we figure this out, we can figure out what the half-life is. All right, so what happens here is divide through by one, so we still end up with 0 0.7. So 0 0.7 is equal to E raised to the 15K. Take the natural, so natural log of both sides, we end up with 15K is equal to natural log of 0 0.7. Divide through by 15, and we get K is equal to approximately um, negative 0 0.023778. I, I'm just writing those out a lot, so we have approximately the constant. Or it's essentially equal to this if you want to write it that way. And then what we do next is now that we know that, um, we set E raised to, I'll just say natural log of 0 0.7 divided by 15 um, times T, yeah, it's T, because th this is going to be our half-life, is equal to 0 0.5, so half-life. So take the natural log of both sides, and we end up with natural log of 0 0.7 over 15. T is equal to natural log of 0 0.5. Divide through by natural log oops, of 0 0.7 over 15. And we get T is equal to approximately, um, I think it's like 29 point, because I did all this before making the video. Uh, 29, 29.15 years. And that's it. Unless they want an exact result. And you'd have, you just leave it in this form. So anyway, I hope this helped you out. Appreciate you watching this video and you have a great day.